Hi there and welcome to this video in the IBM Cloud Foundation skill series and this video is going to be a really really quick lab where I'm going to show you how to connect to a Windows server once you've actually um, created it within IBM Cloud. So to do this you'll need three things obviously first of all which I've not listed there you'll obviously need a, a Windows server that you've already prov provisioned. Uh, the second thing that you'll need is Microsoft Remote Desktop Client. So if you're running from a Windows machine yourself then obviously that's already going to be installed for you and uh, you can bring that qu up quite easily. If you're not running a Windows um, PC, then you'll need to install Microsoft uh, Remote Desktop Client. Personally, I'm running on a Mac, so I've actually uh, had to go to the uh, to the Mac store to uh, actually obtain Microsoft Remote Desktop Client and install it. Um, it's free of charge, so just go to the, uh, the, uh, to the um, Mac App Store and you'll be able to download it and I suspect it will also be there for um, other flavors of operating system as well. So as well as the remote desktop client uh, you also need the IP address of your Windows server so obviously you'll find that within the IBM Cloud uh, screens we'll show you that in a moment uh, and obviously you'll need the password for your Windows server as well so again once you've actually created the server uh, a password an administrator password is automatically created for you uh, so you just need to pop that in at the appropriate place. Okay, so without further ado, um, let's get across to the IBM Cloud Console uh, where I'll show you how to use the desktop client to log into your server. Okay, so here I am in my account at cloud.ibm.com. So let's uh, just pop over to my devices list uh, to actually go and find my Windows server that I've, uh, that I've created. So I've got two here. I'm going to start off with this one. It's called My Win Server. So let's just open up the details there. Uh, and what you can see here is that uh, the, the server's up and running. Uh, you can see that I've got a uh, public IP address that I can connect to. And, uh, and then I've got some other details here, which includes the password. So the question is, how do I actually attach to uh, a Windows-based um, server? Because obviously we're not going to SSH into that. Well, the answer really is to use a Windows desktop connection. So I'm using a Mac. I've actually downloaded uh, Windows Desktop onto my Mac. So if I just uh, go across and uh, open that up. So here we go, I've got Windows Remote Desktop. So all I need to do is um, create a, a new connection. So if I add a PC, what I then need to do is actually put in the host name of that PC or the IP address. So in this case, it's going to be the IP address. So uh, let's just go and uh, get the IP address of the server. So that would be here. So just copy that, put it back into um, the, uh, the, the remote desktop connection here. Uh, so I can put in some friendly names here as well. So I'm going to call this my IBM Win server. And I can put in some saved PCs. So again, just leave the connections as they are. Um, we'll use leave the user account so it'll last when required. So I just connect, click add to that, and then let's just double click on this. So now you can see this actually gone off to um, connect to uh, my server. So let's just go and look at my passwords. So you can see the username is is administrator. Uh, I'm going to show you my password. I'm obviously going to delete this machine before uh, before I post this video. But again, normally you wouldn't actually. Uh, uh, obviously share your password with people. So I'm just going to copy that. My username's administrator. So and uh, paste in my password. Click continue. Uh, click continue again. And uh, what we should find is that uh, I'm now starting to actually uh, connect to my, uh, my Windows server. So here we go. So now you can see because it's a brand new server um, it's actually going to start the process of uh, setting up my uh, my personalised uh, settings, etc. So this might take a couple of moments just to uh, just to fully come to life. But as you can see, it's now it's now coming through. But basically, in essence, that's how you connect to a remote server that you've created in IBM Cloud that's running Windows. So if you're using a Mac, you'll need to go and download the uh, the Microsoft um, Remote Desktop um, program to your Mac uh, or or another Linux server. Or if you're on Windows, then presumably you already have um, the remote desktop program there. So that's how you do it. Okay, so I hope that was useful and uh, obviously shows you that it's uh, very, very simple to 
actually log in and connect to your Windows Server. So this really does apply to either virtual machines on Classic, virtual machines within uh, VPC as well, and also any bare metal servers that you might choose to run in IBM Cloud 2. Uh, I suppose a couple of things to remember when you've done this for the first time is maybe to run Windows Update, just to make sure that uh, you know all of the very latest uh, Windows um, releases and patches uh, are in the system. So my advice would be to run Windows Update as soon as you can, uh, and also create any other users that you need, so that uh, you know any other users are not logging in as administrator. Okay, so that's it for this video. Thank you very much for watching, and as always, uh, we'll see you next time.